one. Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. So um, today we are taking a look at the Sideshow SDCC day one reveals. I think it's day one. I assume that this is not everything that they have to show because a lot of this stuff is um, things that um, they have already shown in other comic cons and some of this stuff is even out. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go through just some of the, the photos here uh, courtesy of uh, Toy Arc that kind of grab these screen grabs. These are not, they don't look like they're 4K. Um, they're just kind of taken from the uh, from the Sideshow video that they did, the, the, the video walkthrough. Unfortunately, because of, you know, this being a virtual con, we can't get in there to take our own picks. So we're just going to have to kind of rely on what Sideshow gives us. Um, uh, and we'll love it. Uh, but uh, let's just go through and uh, uh, take a look here. First photo looks like it is uh, jewelry. I guess Sideshow has their own line of jewelry. I think this is not a new thing um, uh, that they're doing. Uh, I usually just skip over that shit. Um, some designer um, uh, designer statues. They look like, like dolls almost. Don't know what that's about. Um, but uh, I do know this. Uh, Court of the Dead um, looks like... Looks like there's another death, I think, that's coming out in the back. He's got the big scythe. And um, I don't I don't remember if some of this stuff was shown at last year's Comic-Con. They do have that one dude all the way to the right. He's got sort of the, the knight uh, uh, or the guard helmet. I do like him, but I don't go in on the Court of the Dead stuff. I just, I don't know, maybe maybe because it's not attached to anything that I know. Uh, but they are cool statues um, if you're into those. Um, then we get these uh, Wolverine looking, uh, it's like a Wolverine luchador sort of, uh, or Aztec kind of, um, yeah, it's like kind of like Aztec art uh, Wolverine bust. Um, I don't know if this is from anything. It looks pretty cool, um, but uh, he's got the claws and everything. Probably a thousand bucks uh, if it is that size. Moving through here, I wish there was a better picture of this. This is the Iron Studios Joker. Um, I know this one has a switch out face with the with the with the face that kind of like is, is stitched on there. Um, but I actually like this one a lot more. Um, and there are some better picks, I think, uh, on maybe Statue Forum places like that. But this one has looks like it's going to have uh, some good size to it. It's a one third scale, I believe. Excited about that one. Then we have random various picks of this Sentinel Iron Studio set. I'm in love with this set. I just have not pulled the trigger on any of these because it's you're going to be in 4K, 5K by the time you're done uh, with this. Um, and I don't even know where I would put this right now. Uh, but uh, they, they just sort of have it on, uh, on this base in the center. And it is a centerpiece. I mean, if you are a fan of that 90s X-Men run, I think... I don't know, the definitive 90s X-Men uh, uh, um, uh, interpretation. And you, you got everybody here. So um, the new one, though, that I am seeing is the Blob. Um, I haven't seen him before. I think this is the first time they're showing him. He looks really cool. He has He's holding the, uh, the Xavier uh, school. Uh, 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 it's like he pulled off the, the, the metal sign, the X. And it looks like he's going to use that as a weapon. Um, and yeah, it's just a cool interpretation. And I, I can't remember like a lot of interpretations of the blob. So it is kind of cool just seeing him finally in 3D form. And then you have Omega Red. And this is just one of those pieces that I, I, I have this fantasy just having it somewhere. And it has this, there's just so many things to look at. Um, it's just so cool. And the saber tooth is great. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what the, the addition size on this thing is, but uh, man, do I want that. Um, moving on here, we got some Batman. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's sort of like the, the 1960s Batman. Uh, he's on a surfboard. They got uh, the Cesar Romero Joker on a surfboard. Um, Batman has a shark repellent, which is kind of neat. Um, this, these look like 110 scale. Looks like a 110 scale Dark Knight. There's a Pennywise. There's some Wonder Woman. Um, I forgot what they call that line, but they, they, they're the ones with the big head. There's a PCS Ryu, which has been out for forever. Um, don't know what that's about. Then you got this Deadpool. It's like a one-third Deadpool on a, a sentinel, a janky-looking sentinel hand. Um, I hate this Deadpool. I don't know what this pose is. I don't know if he's dancing or, or 
what I have no idea what this post is about, but it's uh, it's a pass for me. Um, then we get some 110 scale, Scarlet Spider, Scorpion. Then we're moving into J. Scott Campbell stuff. He's got the fairy tale line, the Alice, the Tinkerbell. You can kind of see them together. Um, then you have these busts. These busts, I, I'm a big fan of these. The, the Batman, the Wonder Woman especially, and then you got the Superman. Um, I wish that they had a one-fourth statue that looked as good as these busts. Um, cause, um, or they're mini busts, I guess. But um, uh, I know those are available now. And I think, not even for pre-order, I think you can get them now. Um, then you have Starfire. I want to say this Starfire came out, or they, it was shown last year. She might even be out. Maybe correct me if I'm wrong. Comes with a little Beast Boy. It's a great Starfire. Um, if you're into uh, Teen Titans and the lot. This Harley Quinn's real nice with the roller skates. Uh, the Superman Clark Kent transformation's real cool. Um, what else? Then you have this X-Men line. They got Red Skull, Daredevil, Magneto, Cyclops, and Wolverine. Um... Yeah, I don't love these. They're sort of a, a cloth mixed media. The musculature is just not there, obviously because of the cloth. Um, they just look kind of, they just look underwhelming to me, um, especially in, in, you know, in, in the era of hot toys and things like that. I, I probably wouldn't dive into something like that. Uh, then we've got some Lord of the Rings. We have a, we have a, a, a Strider right there and, um, is that I can't tell if that's the Witcher in the back or something like that. Um, but yeah, the Aragorn with the sword is really really cool. Um, I think that is Witcher. Uh, looks like there's a Joker bank robber version. Then you got some of these like fun action figure looking guys. You got looks like Fat Thor, Tony Stark, Spider Man. Yeah, not for me. Um, this Ace Ventura, blah, Ace Ventura is pretty cool. I need to see some close-ups. Um, but, um, yeah. Let's keep going here. You got Batman Beyond. You got another Harley Quinn. Uh, you have the Batman Armory, which kind of goes through, um, I guess, sort of like the Batman costumes. Looks like there's a death struggle. Like the, there's an 80s Batman as well. Um, the Dark Knight version. Eh, meh. Um, stunted head, Joker, I don't know if that's an android, or I don't think it is, but, um, not, not seeing anything that's, that's blowing me away, uh, oh, here, okay, so, here is the, uh, Doctor Strange and Silver Surfer, um, so, the Doctor Strange looks pretty cool, um, it looks like it's a comic book version of Doctor Strange, he's got his hand up, he's got the green portal around there, he's coming out of a portal himself, Looks like it is mixed media. Cape looks like it is mixed media. And um, then you have the Silver Surfer. Now, this Silver Surfer has been a little controversial. Um, the sculpt on it, I think, is real nice. The pose, I just don't love. Um, I do like the portal he's coming out of it. And this, these photos are not, they're just not great. They're, again, they're, they're sort of screen, screen grabs, but... Um, when you kind of saw it in motion, it looked like it had like this star luster on the portal and it was kind of like swirling open. And, you know, um, the problem is that there's been a lot of Silver Surfer custom statues that are better than this, um, where he's kind of, they're more dynamic. He's kind of rocketing out of a portal. Um, this is just, I don't know, in this day and age, it's a little, I mean, it's a museum pose, but it's a little underwhelming, um, which is a shame because the sculpt is... The sculpt looks great. Comes with an exclusive companion or like a proximity piece. Um, I forgot that character's name, but um, I think you can only get it in the exclusive. I think Nova. Um, but yeah, I, I, I know a lot of people are hoping for, you know, a new Silver Surfer. And I, I expect that there's going to be some some controversy on this as we as we go. I, 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 and I, the ES will probably be crazy up there. Um, then you got some, uh, Star Wars, uh, Mythos, 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 Star Wars. And, um, first off, uh, the Obi-Wan, so sort of like a clone wars. It's, it's a, a Obi-Wan in a, uh, in, they, they came out with a figure that was really similar to this, I think, in the Mythos line. I want to say it was in the Mythos line, but, um, looks like this is mixed media 
or the Obi-Wan is mixed media as well. At least the, the cloak looks like it. Lightsaber's kind of cool. It kind of has a, it's, it's a, it kind of uh, bulges at the bottom and then sort of tapers off. I haven't seen it like that. Uh, the sculpt looks all right. Um, looks, I mean, there's some Ewan McGregor in there. Um, I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't love this, um, but I also don't know what uh, Obi-Wan would, would, would blow me away at this point. Um, I will say that this, uh, this Asajj here is freaking amazing. I mean, the base is, I don't know what that skull is. Is that like a Rancor skull? I don't know what that is, but she looks great. She's got like the red hood on. She's got like the dual lightsabers. Um, if I was going to jump in into this line, I'd probably, I'd probably do it. Uh, I, I'd probably get her. Um, yeah, she's definitely the star of this line. And then in the back, we got the, um, we got Darth Maul. And he's kind of, he's got his metal legs. He's sort of leaping at you. And then we have the Emperor. And the Emperor is kind of underwhelming. He's got this, his his cloak. And I, I can't tell if that is mixed media for these guys. It almost looks like, looks like everybody else has sculpted cloth. I just can't tell. Um, but yeah, uh, so the Asajj looks tight. Uh, moving on here. We got the child. We got Baby Yoda. He's got his own little area there. Um, in uh, looks like Endor, or maybe it's not Endor, but it's 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 a Endor-like uh, spot here. So this is the legendary scale, or legendary scale, uh, but the the two scale Baby Yoda, um, and he's adorable. Uh, I do have him on pre-order, and uh, and there's a print I guess that you can also get where he's kind of in his pram. Um, as well, probably limited edition. And then we got uh, some Star Wars uh, figures here. Looks like uh, there's a Jango Fett. Um, there's a Luke. Just not into these. There's an Anakin. There's an Obi Wan. Uh, th this one, um, this Hot Toys. Oh, I'm sorry. I think those were all Hot Toys. Um, this Mandalorian Hot Toys is one that I've been kind of going back and forth with um because it does have the little pram with the baby yoda in there so i might pull the trigger on that yet um uh then we got this uh this iron man kind of translucent sort of iron man i don't know another way to describe it uh then we got whiplash whiplash is cool i mean i wish i liked this character a lot more um this spider-man is great um this is uh uh, sort of like, I guess, a comic-accurate Spider-Man um, uh, hot toy. But I just love the way they did him. I love his co his comic book sculpt. I like that his, uh, his uh, stripes are kind of uh, uh, are, are protruding from the costume, kind of like in the, in the Tobey Maguire movies, but, but a little different. Um, I might be in to get one of these. I mean, it's just a classic costume Spider-Man. And then we have Spider-Man 2099. Looks fun. And then there's sort of like a glossy more glossy looking spider-man which i don't like as much um but that first one on the left um i definitely definitely am interested in him and then you have sort of like a spider-man hall of armor series um yeah i guess they're kind of doing the iron man but with all these other characters batman and spider-man uh looks like some iron man hot toys da, da, da. we got captain marvel holding the Infinity Gauntlet, the the uh, the one that the Hulk uh, that everybody was passing around. Um, then you got a, a Thanos, and then you have this Rancor, which this Rancor I think is up for pre-order now. I think it's like thirteen hundred bucks, and it is a monster. I mean, it's literally a monster, but it's also a monster of a statue, and um, just looks really really cool. The Rancor is dope, um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of this stuff has been, again, things that some people have seen, um, a mix of some new stuff that's coming out, a mix of some stuff that's already on pre-order. Uh, I do believe that there is going to be a reveal probably every day this week, and hopefully if we f see some relevant stuff, get a little more excited about it, I give this one a, I don't know, this showing is, uh, I give it like a five, five out of ten. Um, but uh, hopefully I could find some stuff to, to really get excited about as they keep on going. I have some characters that I'm, 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 I'm hoping they make two face penguin in one four scale guys that have not gotten some love. 
uh, for a while, uh, but uh, we'll see. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll also have some other reveals that uh, just, there's a lot of these sort of virtual con things that are popping up. So anything relevant, we'll put up here. Let us know what you think of this. Comment, subscribe. Um, are any of these day one reveals exciting? And um, yeah, we will we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do more as we uh, as we get more. That is it. Have a have a good one. Bye.